get dirty. I came to get even, 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 even. If you have an interest in conspiracy theories, or if you're a nationalist adjacent, or if you've run into some uh, vociferous purveyors of uh, white supremacy, actual white supremacy, not everything, which most people these days seem to think counts as white supremacy. If you're in any of these spheres, if you've rubbed up against any of these people, you may have heard of the Kalergi plan. That sounds rather sinister, doesn't it? Here was this Austrian Count Kalergi, and he had this plan in place, apparently, to import loads of immigrants and overrun Europe and get rid of the white race and, and whatever else. There's, there's just one problem with this conspiracy theory, and that's that it's total horseshit. Whoop, look out. Ah! Sorry there. Didn't realize how long it had been since old Dumper did his business. As usual with conspiracies, there's not really any need to summon the spectre of some organized plan to go against someone or for someone else. It's perfectly plain once you go looking into it that people are just kind of acting in their own interests and things come together in certain ways. Count Kalergi was definitely a pro-European and a pan-European. He was part of an organization of pan-Europeans who wanted to bring the continent together. Keep in mind that this was a very popular idea both after World War I and after World War II for obvious reasons of large amounts of deaths and destruction. Count Kalergi himself was mixed race, Austro-Japanese, fairly unusual at the time, so you can see why he might have had a, a vested interest and a positive view on uh, race mixing. Which isn't as sinister or as sinister at all as people like to claim. So you can see contextually why he might have had these points of view, why he personally might be invested in this. And there, is, there is no plan, even in his book Practical Idealism, which has not really been translated out of the German saving snippets on white supremacist sites that can't really be trusted. And if you're telling me Bubba the white supremacist from the deep south of America actually bothered to learn German, even if he idolises Adolf Hitler, and has read and properly translated an obscure Austrian book <laughs> from the 1920s and 1930s, yeah, I have trouble grasping that, let alone any conspiracy theories. It seems manifestly unlikely. And there isn't a plan put forward there. What there is is a, a wistful idealism for a blending of the races and peoples so that the old divisions of class and nation and race and so on dissolve. It's not a plan. It's a, a utopian ideal. It's his idealism. That's all it is. There is no Kalergi plan. There is a Kalergi wistful desire. That's really it. I mean, the Kalergi plan is, is bullshit. It doesn't exist. There is no Kalergi plan. His most often quoted work, uh, semi-translated passages from practical idealism are taken completely out of context and refer only to his idealistic vision or prediction for the future. There's not much of a video, really, if I just say it's bullshit and tell you to go and look, look for yourselves to find that out. There's not really much there. So it's worth touching on a couple of related things. Now, like most people born in the 19th century, living through the early 20th century, uh, Count Kalergi had some um, racist ideas, uh, but before you go thinking that would endear him to today's racists, you have to keep in mind that he actually thought that the Jewish people were superior uh, in, in some way or degree. It's not actually that different to what your standard racist believes about Jews. 
because they constantly accuse them of being behind conspiracies, such as the Kalergi plan, uh, behind banking and in control of the media and all these things, which would suggest that they are brilliant master manipulators and, and puppeteers. Not true, of course, obviously. But one thing I think that people miss a lot today, and one of the things that greatly concerns me about anti-white racism today is that it mirrors a lot of the anti-Semitic racism of the past. The idea of patriarchy is a conspiracy theory that targets predominantly white men. The idea of white supremacy is only ever mentioned by racists of whatever colour or political stripe it happens to be. Actual white supremacists believe that they're superior, and the people fighting against them seem to like to claim that white people are somehow superior because they've been in control of everything and their masterminds and so on, in exactly the same way the Jews were accused of being in the run-up to World War II and the Holocaust. So it's not only treating another race as inferior, which can lead to disaster and genocide, it's also the idea that they're somehow inherently superior, that they are somehow working to keep you down, or traitors, or something like that. That's also as dangerous, if not more dangerous, and that is the character of anti-white racism, and it is the character of anti-Semitic racism. So there's that to consider. What people seem to think the Kalergi plan, that doesn't exist, was saying was that there would be this deliberate effort to displace white people as, as the majority or whatever else. And then they go, aha, and point to immigration and the fact that whites are in the process of becoming a minority in various nations. And there's all kinds of alarmist predictions that this is going to happen within a handful of years or, or whatever it might be. As communication has increased, as travel has increased. People have had the opportunity to meet others all around the world of different colours, creeds, races or whatever. And people quite often fall in love with people across these boundaries. More and more as communication and travel has become easier. In the case of Europe, a huge amount of people as the borders have gone down within Europe, have married across borders, moved to work in different places, settled down, had families, all of these kinds of things. This is why Brexit is such a fucking shambles for so many people and it's going to have such personal impact on so many people. It's, it's entirely predictable. People tend to be attracted to the exotic and the, the different and so on and to blend together. And this often applies to race as well. Uh, an increasing, ever increasing percentage of marriages and so on are interracial. Well, if that means anything, to me it doesn't <laughs> at all. And a lot of people who are mixed race are wonderful, beautiful, uh, uh, amazing people. And to some degree, the fact that they're mixed race may even be responsible for some of that. Have you ever seen any Guyanese women? <sighs> Mm, yum, 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 yum. And that's a blend of uh, white, or English or French, uh, Indian subcontinents, South Asian and uh, West Indian. And that's a very pleasant outcome indeed. <laughs> but yeah, that, that, that's an entirely predictable thing, especially for most people for whom race is not really these days a, a consideration or, or a problem. You know, this is a result of us taking down barriers, of us becoming more equal, more communicative, and it's entirely predictable. And these predictions, oh, the white race is going to become a minority, I mean, why are you scared of that in the first place? Why? Um, and secondly, it tends to be predicated upon this idea that these other other races, these other peoples who come here are going to outbreed us. Well, the living standards in Western nations are, appear to be very much responsible for our lower birth, birth rates because you don't need to have extra children to make up for a terrible te death toll for infants. People coming from other places but have, don't have these safety nets, that the medical care and so on, retain large families for perhaps a generation, perhaps two, and then it normalises to be pretty much the, the same as the rest of the country. 
people used to say this about Catholics and have said it about Catholics for centuries and we're not hip deep in papists everywhere and it's just it's not going to happen with anyone else who comes into our nations birth rates will decline as people assimilate into the culture and as their wealth increases it's just the way it is you know, Kalergi did lay out some of the plans for the European Union the you know, the pan Europa movement that he was a part of is a precursor to that and the European Union was their goal but there's no conspiracy it's open that society was working towards that for a very long time there is no plan to disperse or displace or replace or genocide white people that's all horseshit he's just a guy who was mixed race who had exactly the kinds of attitudes and beliefs you might expect from someone living at that time in that place around the times of the world wars and in the situation in which he existed there's no need for a conspiracy there almost never is zang I, I, I don't like the, I, I have, okay, like a lot of you, I hate a lot, you know? <laughs> but I hate with style and creativity. <laughs> yeah!